Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And moving on to the next question, we have to take both of these expressions here, simplify them to only have positive exponents. So a little bit more practice dealing with exponential algebra here. So what I'm gonna do with number one first, notice we have a couple of negative exponents. And so what I'm gonna do is change them all to positive. So this five to the negative two, for example, I'll bring down. This 27 to the negative one over three, I'll bring up. This I'll bring down. This y to the negative one over three, I'll bring up. And so after we do all that, we would end up with 27 to the power of one over three, x to the power of one over three, all over five to the power of two, times y. So really we just switched this and this around. The other two stayed the same. And then same thing over here. Now, as I mentioned in previous videos, there's multiple ways to go about these kinds of questions. So if you have your own way of simplifying this, you could try it out. Just make sure you're getting the same answer that I get at the end. So now from here, what we can do is simplify. Notice 27 to the power one over three, that's the third root of 27, that's just three. That's a nice smooth number. So let's put that. And then five to the power of two is 25. And then we'll have y. And then we're dividing by a fraction. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to flip the fraction and then we'll be multiplying. And while I'm flipping it, this 16 to the power of a half, that's the square root of 16, which is just four. And then the y to the power of one over three goes at the bottom like that. Right, so that's what it simplifies to so far. Notice that the force here cancel out, which is nice. And then, we can multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators. So we'd have three x to the one over three times x to the power of one over four, all over 25 y, that's like to the power of one, times y to the power of one over three, like that. Now three over 25, that actually doesn't simplify that fraction. So that's gonna stay but notice that the x to the one over three times x to the power one over four, we can add those exponents. So one over three plus one over four, if we do that on the side here, common denominator would be 12. This ends up being seven over 12. So these two combined would be x to the power of seven over 12. And then notice we got y to the power of one times y to the power of one over three, same base, multiplying, so we can add those exponents, which would be like three over three plus one over three, which would give us four over three. So this here would end up being y to the power of four over three. And then the x and y, those are different bases, so we can't simplify those any further. And notice that these two exponents, they're positive. And so that there ends up being your final answer. Moving on to number two, this one's gonna be a little bit different because we're taking an expression in brackets that has multiple terms to the power of negative a half. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually first gonna rewrite this as five X squared all over 5x minus two to the power of positive half, like that, right? Bring this down, bring this term down to the denominator and then change the exponent to be a positive. And then over here, can't really do much with this. So let's just keep it as is. Now, this is gonna actually be all over one. And so when we're simplifying this, what we wanna do is bring both of these fractions into um, into one fraction, as one fraction. And so to add the fractions, we would need a common denominator. What's the common denominator between this expression and one? Well, it's just gonna be that expression. So what we would have to do is we'd have to multiply this by five X minus two to the power of a half, which means we have to multiply the top by five X minus two 
to the power of a half. And now we could combine them. And so watch what happens here. We would end up with 5x squared plus 3, 5x minus 2. Notice we have 5x minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2 uh, times 5x minus 2 to the power of a half. Notice that they have the same base. Exponential expressions with the same base, so we could add those two exponents. So this would end up being 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2. And then that's going to be all over um, 5x minus 2 to the power of a half, right? That common denominator that we found. And so from here, what happens is notice what is 3 over 2 plus 1 over 2? That would give us 4 over 2, which would just be 2. And that's going to be all over 5x minus 2 to the power of a half. So what we can do at this point is we can actually expand all of this, this numerator, because now we have an integer exponent. Before we couldn't expand this, right? You can't just expand rational exponents, but now that we have an integer 2, 5x minus 2 times 5x minus 2, we could just FOIL that out, simplify the whole numerator. So continuing this over here, what would happen is we'd end up with 5x squared plus 3. Now what is 5x minus 2 times 5x minus 2? If we multiply everything out, we'd end up with 25x squared minus 10x minus 10x plus 4. And so this would end up being 25x squared minus 20x plus 4, right? So this expression is the same as this, so that's going to go in brackets. Like that. And then this is still going to be all over that denominator, 5x minus 2 to the power of a half. We can't simplify the denominator any further. What we can try to do is simplify the numerator, see if we can factor anything out potentially, or maybe not even factor, maybe it'll simplify into something like this where we have a 5x minus 2 there, and then see if we can simplify further. So we could only do that by expanding everything and seeing what will happen. So no guarantees that it will simplify further, but nevertheless, you do have to check. And then notice this and this, those are like terms. And so we end up with uh, 80x squared minus 60x plus 12 all over 5x minus 2 to the power of a half. So it's not looking likely maybe we could factor the numerator. So notice we could take out a 4. So we end up with this. Now the 4 and this don't, um, don't simplify. And then the 20x squared minus 15x plus 3, that um, doesn't factor smoothly. It would have been nice if this could maybe factor, and one of the factors would be 5x minus 2 here. And then we could simplify this and this. This would be like to the power of 1, so we could subtract the 1 and the 1 half. But unfortunately, this here is not going to factor. There's no two numbers that multiply to 60 and add up to negative 15. And so those are the final answers right there. Either this, if you keep the numerator expanded, or if we factor the 4 out in the numerator, that right there. So one of those is the final answer for number 2.